So here's how to install a clothing rod. Now, this is a fairly simple job, but if you clicked on this video, you probably got a question or two. So I want to answer a couple of questions right off the bat. So depth-wise, we like to do ours, this is about 10 inches off of the back uh, of the wall. Um, is how is how far we come off now I'm doing uh, on this one there's going to be two different rods here so the top one here I'm coming down four inches uh, off the ceiling here of this uh, but it's really just going to be kind of dependent upon what you want to do so in that case here that puts it at about 75 basically I've gone ahead right now and I've already just made like a little pencil mark 10 inches from the wall, four inches down, and I made just a little cross section so that I know where to center it up. And what I'm using is just this simple little socket set, closet rod socket set from Lowe's. These are about eight or 10 bucks at Lowe's, and um, that's all that there are to it is basically two different pieces. So you got this piece here, you're gonna slide this piece in on one end, and then this will just drop in on the other side to allow you to be able to put your closet rod in. And essentially all I do is I just take it and like on this first side, which I'm actually gonna do this one over here on this side, I will actually just kind of get up in here where I can see this pretty well and just eyeball this is all I'm gonna do. And I've got it right about there, okay? Then I'm gonna use a self-centering drill bit. Um, I will uh, link this up if you don't have one, but they're really good when you've got to put a, a screw directly in the center of something that's already kind of pre-made and it's got the holes in place this will put it exactly in the center so screw one there one there one there okay now we're done with that and all we need is our three screws and then i've just got this little milwaukee screw gun and i'm just going to use it I just got the clip stuck so that it won't strip anything out. Now that's in there and done. Then we gotta do the other side. Okay, so back to this. We've got again we're gonna drop this in on this side. All I've done is I've just flipped the camera so you can see this other side a little bit. I'm gonna get this up in here and I'm gonna get it pretty close. Not where I want it. I'm gonna move this to kind of get an idea of about my center point. I'm going to get it pretty close there and then because I know that this is all level here I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a level on this so once I get it about level now I'm going to look at it again and I'm going to make sure that nothing's moved on me on this inside and I'm still fairly centered now that I've got it done I need to move this though to be able to use that drill bit so I drop it down out of the way and I'm going to put one right there, there, and there. If I could suggest anything, it is that self-centering drill bit. Um, also a good screw gun. Now you can use a drill or anything, but the screw gun is its kind of like a drill and an impact together so you've got a, a clutch like a drill but it chucks up like a impact uh, and it's a little slower speed so it's not as likely to tear anything up now we just drop a rod back in here double check our level right there perfect so like i said i know this is a really simple job uh, but I just figured that there are people probably out there that may have a couple of questions about this So again, I'll put the measurements for this like where you want to put this I'll put the measurements for those down in the description below and then also on the tools I'll be sure and put those down there if you need any of those things uh, If you use those links it helps our channel out. It doesn't cost you anything any different. So greatly appreciate it